Here's the home on Wahlberg, 3287 Wahlberg, two car garage. It's got this white stone. Um, this is east facing front, west facing back. White stone, um, really dark gray, but a warm gray color. White trim that pops. Nice big patio area up here, you know, uh, walkway. Big tall door. Coming in the entrance, we are coming on to, I believe this is probably an engineered hardwood because it's wider plank. It's really pretty. Entire thing has it, so there's no carpet to deal with. Um, as I walk into the door, there's these little alcove areas that have lights for artwork, and it's got wainscoting along both sides. There is not a nail hole in it. It's um, a real soft kind of gray. Um, very nice. Off to the left as you walk in. Bedroom number one being used as an office. Already has the blinds in place. The two inch wood. The door style. Closets are built out. The tall doors. You got the eight foot doors, uh, 10 foot ceilings. Bathroom one. You got tile flooring. It's got this wood finish. We saw this in other houses last weekend. I know you're gonna like that. Then it's got this tile top here. Glass accent, nice lighting. And then this, literally, this has been so gently lived in. I don't even think this was ever used. <laughs> and this is a surround. This is a, a like a vinyl, um, so super easy to clean. It's got the window up there. Bedroom two. Identical to the other. Let the build out. That other room, that other closet might be a little bit bigger, but that's probably the room you'd, um, if you needed an office or something, you'd probably want to make it the, um, the room towards the front. Coming back into the entryway. Over, I'm going to do this at the end. Over to the right is the laundry room, and that's where you enter off the garage as well. But in through there, this door goes straight into the master bedroom closet. And so this serves as the laundry room. It's got cabinetry, shelving. And it's got a little notched out area for coats, a little bench to sit on and additional storage. So this is a really great room, really nice use of space here. Coat closet here. It does have central back and this has a can. Really wide open space here. Here's the kitchen. I'm gonna pan this very slowly. White cabinets, tall uppers. There's above cabinet lighting, there's under the cabinet lighting, and then there's quite a few can lights. And then the drop, three drop downs on the island. This is a granite. It's just got a nice neutral um, backsplash in, um, yeah. Oh, this escapes me right now, but that pattern, um, I'll think of it. Refrigerator, single oven, microwave out there, frosted glass pantry door, light inside, nicely lined out of shelves. 
herringbone, herringbone pattern on the back here. Nice and neutral. All drawers. Four burner gas range. Everything's up there, lights and everything for the hood. And then the island is wood. It's kind of a wash. Uh, the appliances are all Whirlpool. Yeah, and this has the, um, the pull down kind. Dining area, going out to the back. Large living room area here. Got all the blinds. You might need to put in like a rod here if you want to cover that in the evenings. It's got more wainscoting under these large windows. The fireplace is gas insert, white stone, and the mantle matches the wood in the bathrooms and in that island. It's look, it's gonna probably look pretty gray on this video. It's really not. Um, well, it's got kind of like a gray wash to it, but it is definitely a natural grain. You can have the TV there as well. I'm gonna pan this entire room again. You've got a linen closet here as you're coming in to enter the master bedroom. The carpet is in, I mean, literally this home looks brand new. It's two years old, but the carpet, everything in this is meticulous. Um, it's got this crown molding, coffered ceiling in here. Nice uh, trim detail on all the windows in the home. This is a king size bed. Just to give you an idea, king size bed, two nightstands, very roomy. And then even here, you've got all this space. They've got a dresser here, the television. It's got a ceiling fan. I'll go back and check the other two rooms with the ceiling fans. Pocket door here for the bathroom, entering onto tile. His and her vanities. This is where you can probably see the wood the best. Glass all the way up. Walk-in shower, and there is a piece of glass right here. Windows up high, you never have to worry. And here's the his vanity. Both sides are equal. Eight drawers, a drawer down below. Same granite as in the kitchen. And a nice glass backsplash. Here's the loo, and it's got a door to it on it. Entering the master closet. No door here, but you really don't need it as here's the bath bedroom. You're coming into the bathroom. You literally have to be at this corner to really even see into the closet. Double hang here. Nice center. Single hang. Two more sections of double hang. Nope, three more. Some behind the doors, I'll double hang as well. Crawl space access. And then you've got two other sides of double hang here. She said she did shoe racks here, and put her shoes in here, which is great uh, because here's where you come in off the, the laundry. So you'd be coming in and out of here and it'd be really easy or you could do shoes in here as well. Something like this. And coats, purse. Um, 
the washer dryer and refrigerator negotiable. I'm gonna pop out to the garage. It's two car plus a little bit of space. You've got, oh well, it's actually two and a half. Cause this, you've got all this space here. And then you've got all that space on the side. So this is really great. Um, all your systems, that is conditioned crawl space. And all your systems are really new. You've got extras of all of your um, the flooring and the tiles. Looks like maybe in the backsplash. It does come with the central vac. It's got a nice window and a man door to the back. I'm going to go back into the home. Nice covered patio, which you'll need as this is west facing. Um, I'm just gonna pop and show you the side yards really quick. So they're all rock through here. There's not even a gate here. You do have a hose. If you wanted to do um, garden beds or something along here, or if you just wanna keep it nice and low maintenance. The HOA dues do cover the maintenance, all the yard maintenance in these homes. Um, this is a common area right outside of this fence, so you may want to add some landscaping for privacy. I'm going to give you an idea of what they did there. I'll give you a little more privacy with your neighbors. Um, she's got the one little tree and it's got all of its leaves down now. So these are going to build up some privacy as they grow. But I do think I would recommend adding a little bit in here. You've got this patio here too as well. You've got power here. You put the grill over there, which is great. The gas stub is over there. So it's a great place for the grill out of the way. So when you're inside the home and entertaining, you're not having to look at it. And then this entire side is um, rocked as well and perfect place you got a gate there so it's a perfect place to keep your recycling in your garbage it's a beautiful area within walking distance through the neighborhood to the corner of fred meyer some of those little shops in there um chinden is this way south um and you're just I don't want to say two blocks, but you're two little roads from Eagle. Everything's in pristine condition. The paint, interior and exterior, all the flooring, the carpets. It literally um, looks like a brand new home. So gently lived in. It even... It even still smells like a brand new home. <laughs> and that is the home on Wahlberg.